We're standing at the threshold of making an announcement to the whole world that God still functions through signs, wonders, and miracles, and we give him the glory. I want you to stay with me here because there's something in the word and Jesus got that type of authority and Jesus got that type of name because he would give God the glory. And if you read through the four gospels, we'll see where everything that Jesus done, it brought glory to the name of the father. Now, I want to help you here because if you want the glory, you're not going to experience as much. But if you're going to give the glory to him, get ready for what's about to happen personally and what's about to happen corporately. Because if we give God the glory, God likes getting the glory. God likes getting the splendor. God likes for you to stand up and shout about what he's done for you. I don't know about you, but God's done a whole lot for me. And if your neighbor doesn't know, you need to let your neighbor know God's been real good to me. It it doesn't matter what's been going on. It doesn't matter what's happened. I am going to give God glory. He woke me up this morning. That is a reason for me to give God glory. I walked in this place and wasn't carried in this place. And that is a reason for me to give God glory. I have a mouth. I have eyes. I have feet. That is a reason to give God glory. And if you didn't have a reason to give God glory, let me give you a reason to give God glory. Because I wouldn't be here today if God did not place me here today. So I'm going to give God the glory. Slap somebody high five and say, we're giving God the glory. The devil wanted glory. Insecure people want glory. But those who know who they are and whose they are, they give God the glory. When you start magnifying the Lord for every good thing that he has done for you in life, God starts manifesting himself in the greatest of ways. You have not seen the level of influence that's about to hit your life. And if you can believe this is a season of great favor, it's because you're willing to give God the glory. When the promotion comes, give God the glory. When the raises come, give God the glory. When the healing manifests, give, oh, let's back up. Even if the healing has not manifested, Give God the glory. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. When the bills are paid, give God the glory. When the pain, whether it be in the back or the knees or wherever it may be, when it leaves, give God the glory. When all that you've been going through, all the trauma you've been going through, when it starts subsiding, give God the glory. Some of y'all don't understand because you don't know where I've been and your neighbor may not know where you've been and they may not understand why you give God glory like you give God glory. It's yet you're thankful for what the Lord has done and you're going to see even more of what God will do because I'm going to keep giving him the glory. You may know about my pain, but you don't know about my future. I'm going to give God the glory. This is the key. Whenever you get around leadership, you need to find out what they like, what they enjoy. I have realized God loves to get the glory. God loves to be applauded. God loves to be celebrated. God loves to be honored. And if I keep on celebrating God and I keep on honoring God, guess what? He's going to give me a great name. I don't have to look for a great name. I don't have to go for a great name. He will give you a great name if you give him the glory. Glory.